Hi there. Well, today I have with me John Cooper, the minister of Morpeth Baptist Church, and we're in the season where we're trying to discern what God is saying to us. And so, John, it's lovely to have you with us. Uh, what do you feel God has been saying to you and to Morpeth Baptist Church um, over the last few weeks or right through the course of the pandemic? We meet in a school um, which makes our um, our context quite different, I suppose, from a lot of places. Um, we've been holding space, I suppose, in the school and not been uh, bothering them over the time. So we haven't been able to go back at all. So we've been doing a lot of online videos, the same as everybody else. But we really sensed way back, right at the beginning of lockdown, we had a church meeting and I posed the question to people, what do you think we should do in the future? And obviously we, did, we never thought at that time we to be a year later. But the questions were, do you think we should stop completely doing what we're doing? Um, should we re just restart and go back to what we've been doing or should we reset? And pretty much 100% of the people on the call said, actually, we think we need to reset and think about doing something different in the future. It gave us an opportunity to really rethink about who we are as a church and what we're going to be doing. And as you've had now time to, to consider that, what might your reset look like as we're looking, we hope to emerge out of the restrictions of the pandemic? We're still thinking and praying about it, but I think the direction that I think God is lead, leading is to is is into some sort of hybrid version of what we did before and what i mean by that is we've now got used to using digital technology and we think that that's really going to be important for us going forward but hybrid in the sense that rather than just doing one type of service one type of thing as a church each each week that we can mix it up a little bit and have sometimes when we gather together um, in the school and do something quite similar I suppose to what we've done in the past but other times when we can do some different things some things which reach out to uh, people groups or to parts of our community that we've not been able to reach out to before but also which allow us within the church to express our faith in very different ways and in very different services I suppose. And do you want to say a little bit more about why you, you want to diversify in this way? What's the, uh, the motivation for it or the thinking behind it? Um, I suppose, like a lot of churches, um, we've realised that we're all getting older and that there is a gap of, in younger people. And just in the last few weeks, I've done some looking at our ages in church and looking at how that maps across generational um, boundaries. Um, you know, the sociologists tell us that the generations are coming along ever more quickly. And when, when I mapped our ages groups of, of our church alongside those, what I found was a lot of us are baby boomers or, or above baby boomers. We have quite a, quite a lot of Generation Xs like myself. But then from, from that downwards, we drop off a generational cliff and therefore our message, our gospel, our communication of Jesus' good news is not reaching downward into younger families, into younger people. And uh, that's a problem. And uh, we want to try and overcome that by um, reaching out to, to all the generations in our community. I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that. Um, I guess one of the challenges is it it's, it's, can be quite hard to to build good relationships, close relationships with people outside of your own particular age group. We tend to naturally reach out to people who are like us uh, and that, that probably includes age as well. So do you sense how you might overcome that challenge at Morpeth? A couple of things. I mean, one of the things we, we just being the minister for a couple of years and being you know, a 50 year old who came into ministry, I, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that to some degree I'm, I'm too old already and that this is where I should be um, experienced and, 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 and maybe starting to hand over to other people. So I feel like one of my roles as the Minister of Northern Baptist Church is to very quickly start training, identifying, handing over leadership to other people. So the few millennials that we do have in the church and those and, and many of them are really really gifted as well we are very blessed 
that in fact most of the people who are younger are very very gifted people people and we really see god's gifting in them that we we started to straight away invest in those people and to try and raise them up into leadership or get them alongside the leadership to train them up because we need to hear from them how how their generation works and what is going to work for them also a couple of those people are um, our parents with young families and the children that we've got in church are the children of those parents so we need to be listening to them and listening to what are the concerns what are the issues that are facing young families and what does the good news look like for them um, in this day and age um, so so that's one that's one way we're doing it and then obviously other ways are just identifying ways we can we can invite young families in we're meeting a school so we figure it's a bit of a no-brainer to to try something like messy church but do it in the school which is a safe space for those families and those kids who who and the school and therefore are then in the thank you i th just wondering if i've frozen on you okay uh, i can edit that bit out um that's great john i'll just do a <laughs> <All right. laughs> let, let me let me lead us in prayer for you and for morpeth as you are um doing this listening and and seeking and experimenting um, and, and raising up a new leaders. Father God, we do thank you for Morpeth Baptist Church for its uh, presence in that uh, estate uh, on the edge of Morpeth in the school. We thank you, Lord God, that uh, they have a heart for that estate and for that community. And Lord God, will you please uh, guide and direct them as with all of us, uh, as we emerge out of the restrictions, we pray and hope that you will show them each step as they should take it, that you will help them to find good ways of connecting with new generations, of raising up younger leaders, of passing on that baton of faith, which you call all of us to. Uh, will you help us all do that right across our association churches? And may you bless mm. John and give him wisdom in leading the church through this process of change and a willing church to, to go on this journey, this exciting journey of following you. We pray through Jesus Christ. Amen.